Hello students, welcome back to my grammar class. In this class, you are going to learn about sentences and its types of sentences. Okay, first, have you remember about sentences, right? I taught you in third standard. Have you remember or not? Yes. Now we are going to recall what is a sentence and its types of sentence. Okay, what is a sentence, ma? Yes, a sentence is a group of words. Okay, a sentence is a group of words which gives complete meaning. See here. A sentence. is a group of words which gives complete meaning look at this definition a sentence is a group of words nariya words in the dhamma ஒரு சென்டென்ஸ் ஓகேங்களா ஒரே ஒரு வேர்ட்தான் ஒரு சென்டென்ஸ் கிடையாது must contain a must contain a verb okay sentence illana the verb e kadaya it should must contain a verb and then a sentence always start with capital letter okay every sentence in the sentence are now it can be exclamation or declarative or else an interrogative optative exclamation all the sentences will start with a capital letter okay the sentence must start with a capital letter and ends with a full stop okay if, if it is declarative sentence it ends with a full stop if it is interrogative sentence it ends with a question mark or if it is exclamation sentence it ends with a exclamatory mark okay see here what is this mark yes this is full stop okay and then what is this mark yes this is question mark every its interrogative sentence ends with a question mark so it is question mark and what is this this is exclamatory mark okay declarative sentence is also known as assertive sentence we can also call as statements okay normal statements in solo and then 
declare the sentence which conveys information, which conveys information, or simply make a statement which could be a positive or a negative. Positive means which affirms something, and negative means which denies something. Okay, now positive sentence and negative sentence are different. Tell me, and then declare the sentence. Now, only one. Just convey the information. Or the information convey what is there? We will can we can use declare the sentences. See here, for example, Seema will sing tonight. Come on, tell me. Seema will sing tonight. Look at the sentence. Seema will sing tonight. Now, Seema only in the next part. Wow, I've been so glad. This is in the future tense. Okay, but now tell me, is this sentence is a positive sentence or a negative sentence? Yes, this sentence is a positive sentence. And then we, I told you before, declare the sentence. It can be either a positive or else a negative. Now we are going to have a positive sentence. Now we are going to change the sentence to negative sentence. What you have to do? You have to add only the one word, which is not. Okay, you have to add not next to the helping verb. Okay, next to the auxiliary verbs. See here. See ma will not sing tonight. Okay, now look at the sentence. See ma will not sing tonight. Na, I will not be able to sing tonight. Okay, so the sentence is a negative sentence. Okay, so let's have a question. What is declared a sentence? Yes, a declared a sentence which conveys information. Or else, it simply make a statement which could be a positive or else a negative. Okay, clear that for example, the news reporter said that it might rain today. Abhi chalam modul, this is a uh, conveying information that uh, someone is conveying information. Clear with that? And then interactive sentence. You know, we all know that interactive sentence is a kind which has questions. Okay. It asks different kinds of questions. We can simply say it is a question sentence. Interactive sentence is a question sentence. And it always ends with, see here, example it always ends with question mark. Okay, clear with that. For example, question sentence means, I can ask you what is your name. For example, you can say my name is Sanjay, or else Kirti Kajam, or else anything. Okay, then for example, what I have told you two sentences. What is your name? And my name is Sanjay. Okay, my name is Sanjay. It comes under in the declarative sentence because they are conveying information. And then I asked you one question. What is your name? So what is your name? It is a question sentence. Clear with that? So the question sentence comes under in the interrogative sentence. You know, question ki kerala sentence by nirma. Kerala me interrogative sentences tha. And it always ends with the question mark. So simple. What is your name? And then, how old are you? Like, if you are age and that, I'll be keeping that. And then, one more example. Uh, do you like to play cricket? I mean, you can ask me a question. You can ask me a question. You can ask me a question. Do you want this? You can ask me a question. These are all terms under the area. Interactive sentences. Okay? Tell me that one more example. Do you play cricket every day? Me daily cricket will have a job. For example, yes. I play cricket every day. Abhi chalo bande. These are all questions which gives which the money. The other question gives bande. You give me, you will give an answer. Okay, clear with that. Then what is exclamatory mark? Okay, exclamatory means see here exclamatory sentences which expresses strong feelings or emotions. Okay, ma. For example, if you are playing bande, you are playing for ya. If you are playing for ya, you are playing for ya. 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 How beautiful the site is. Abla sorila. How lucky he is. Abla. How lucky he is. Lives in here. Abla sorila. Bode. Those are the feelings which comes. And the strong feelings. Suddenly, you know, your emotions are very much there. Bode. You know, sorila sentence is there. I am extremely sentence. So, for example, see here. What a beautiful site it is. And 
You have to end the sentence with exclamatory mark. Okay? You have to end the sentence with exclamatory mark. And then, one more sentence. How lucky he is. Abhila Salamudu. Those things come under the exclamatory questions. Okay, students. Have you understood these three types? Sir? See here. What you are, what you are learning today? Yes, you are learning about a sentence and these types of sentences. What is sentence? A sentence is a group of words which gives complete meaning. For complete meaning, kutta mudna and a sentence. Okay? And it contains a group of words. Group of words will say in the own meaning. Term. And then the subject must have a verb. Verb will be the complete meaning. And then it always starts with a capital letter. And it always ends with a full stop if it is declared a sentence. It ends with a full stop if it is question sentence. It ends with a question mark if it is exclamatory sentence. It ends with a exclamatory mark. Clear with that? And there are five types of sentences, but in your, in your book there are only three types. What are the types? Declarative, interrogative, and exclamatory. And then imperative and operative you will study in a higher class. What is declarative sentence? Which can be information or simply make a statement that could be in positive or negative. Positive means which affirm something. Or else negative means which deny something. Okay? And then interrogative sentences to ask different types of questions. Uh, questions are the different different like you can say. See here. What? How? Do? Okay? These are all sentences we form in different types. See here. What? Which? Which is your favorite color? How old are you? When will you arrive? Like a we have studied in WH word writer. In that video I have got all the WH words and the excuses. Otherwise, do you play cricket every day? Did you write this? These are all the things. We can ask different types of questions. And the sentence and the sentence we can ask different types of questions. And then exclamatory questions, exclamatory sentences is usually expression strong feelings or emotions. Okay, so I, I hope I will understood the sentences and it's types of kinds. Okay, students.